Now we're going to look at what's for ginger inflammation. I've just given my right hand lady the sign and she's bringing ginger. Unfortunately we used up all the ginger in your juices <laughs> so we're using frozen ginger and frozen ginger see ginger doesn't keep you know if you're going to have it for weeks it's good to freeze it but frozen ginger can be grated quite well thank you so we're going to grate the ginger and ginger is used for joint inflammation so you use your potato for tissue inflammation and joint inflammation you use your your ginger. Ginger is a very powerful anti-inflammatory herb. And what you want to use is the juice. So there's quite a bit of juice coming out of this frozen ginger. So where you would use this, maybe this is a poultice for a, a toe that's got gout. Maybe this is for an arthritic finger. So you make the poultice in the same way that I made the potato one. And can you see we've got about a half an inch of plastic all the way around it. And let's say a lady has a painful joint here, an arthritic joint. Then you would put it on there and then you bandage it on. Now my, my suggestion is if you've got any painful joints and you're going to use ginger, apply it about six o'clock in the evening. Because if that joint is inflamed, the skin can get very, very hot. Some people have said, Barbara, my skin's burning. I said, the good news is your skin won't burn. But if you can handle it, sleep with it. And some people say, I can't handle the heat. I said, well, just take it off. Even just being on for half an hour will take some of the inflammation out of the joint. It appears that the ginger pulls the inflammation out of the joint to the skin. Because if there's no inflammation in that joint, it won't get hot. Now, it will not hurt it, but it, it'll only get hot if there's inflammation in there. So very nice on lower back. If someone's got a sore lower back, they'll often put a hot water bottle on it and it'll bring a little bit of relief. Now, if they've got a sore back, there's usually inflammation there. And if they put a hot water bottle on it, it's not good for the inflammation. It can increase the inflammation. So why does it bring relief? Whenever you're in pain, the muscles cramp. And you put a hot water bottle on your back, it relaxes the cramping muscles. So it brings relief because of that. Now, putting a ginger poultice, if you put a ginger poultice on the lower back, you would make it about the size that I made the potato. So if you put a ginger poultice on your lower back, and what I say is put it on your lower back and you can tape it on and often your pants will hold it there. And you lie on your back with your knees in the air, you know, your knee up and your foot down so that the lower back goes flat. And it presses that against the lower back. Within half an hour, you start to feel the heat. <laughs> and the heat from the inflamed joint coming out to the skin that heat relaxes the muscle and yet it's reducing the inflammation so it brings a lot of relief one lady with a sore lower back at our retreat was putting the ginger poultice on she was so excited about the relief it was bringing she wanted it in the morning she wanted it in the afternoon she wanted it in the evening and after two days her skin started to get a little sore <laughs> So what I say is just save it for the evening. Don't do it non-stop. You'll never get sore skin from the gentle grated potato. Your skin might look like a dried you know, prune, as with William. But because the ginger is pulling that inflammation out to the skin, if you continually do it, the skin can get a little irritated. But if you just keep it for when you need it, maybe of an evening, one lady said that it got so hot, but it was an arthritic joint and it felt so good. She said, no, I want to keep it. I want to keep it on, keep it on all night. Now with vegetable matter, when you make a poultice out of vegetable matter, once it's used, it needs to be discarded. 
whereas your castor oil compressor I've got there, because it's an oil, it can be used again and again and again. We had a man do our program who was a barrister. He was 38. And he said to me, I've come to the retreat to stop drinking alcohol for a week. He said, don't tell me to stop drinking alcohol because I'm not going to stop. I'm just here to have a week's rest. I just said, oh, you can't say right because it's not right. And you can't say this is terrible. I have no right to say that. So this is where you go, oh. <laughs> Midweek, right now, Wednesday night, we're doing the Poultice Lecture and I did the demo on the grated ginger. He said, I have a little toe that sits up like that. He said, it's my middle little toe. He said, it's been paining me for 18 months. The doctor says it's gout. He said, I don't know what to do about it. He said, I am a barrister. I go to court with my wig and my robes on and I have to wear slippers. I can't even wear shoes. I said, well, let's put a poultice on it. So this was about the right size for a little toe. We put it on, maybe a little smaller. We taped it on and whenever I apply a poultice I always ask the guest if I can pray and I ask for God's blessing on that poultice. And he went to bed. The next morning, now this man was very quiet, very reserved and kept to himself. The next morning he's coming down the hill because he was in one of the cabin rooms and he's yelling out. It was very um, unusual for this man to do that. And we looked down and he came running up. He said, it's gone. He said, my toe is flat and there is no pain. <laughs> one ginger poultice. Now the next day, and for you it is tomorrow, you'll be hearing the acid alkaline lecture. And when he heard the acid alkaline lecture, he then realized it was the big steak and the red wine that he was having every night that was contributing to his gout. The next day, when I had the final consultation with him, he sat in front of me and he said, I'm going to stop drinking. <laughs> All because of one little ginger poultice. He was so happy. By the time we consulted, he'd had 48 hours of no pain. <laughs> and he was very much liking that. One man who had gout in one toe, he put this on. He said the next day it appeared in the next toe. So he put it on that toe. The next day it appeared in the next toe. It seemed to jump toes. I said, did it jump feet? <laughs> he said, no. <laughs> <laughs> 